All right, so I'm going to introduce augmented matrix and coefficient matrices in this video. Um, I just wrote these down on the slide before I started because, as you may have noticed, my computer lags a lot while I write big words. So anyways, just got that out of the way before we started. So let's just pick a random system of linear equations. Um, let's say, well, let's say we have 2x plus 3y minus z is equal to 4, and we'll say we have 3x um, minus y is equal to 1, and let's pick another row, another equation to finish this off. We'll say maybe negative x plus, uh, let's say, 2y minus 3z. 3z. There we go. And let's say this is equal to 0. This is our system of linear equations. We already talked about this in the last video. Um, here it's implied that this is plus 0z. Um, so now if we want to write this as a coefficient matrix, well, let's look at this. These, these numbers here are the coefficients. These are the constant terms. There would be a negative 1 there. 3, negative 1. We would have a 0 right here. We have negative 1, uh, we have 2, and we have negative 3, right? Those are the coefficients that are attached to our variables. So if we want to write out a matrix of the coefficients, what a matrix is is just a collection of numbers, quite simply, so don't get scared away by that. We'll just draw a big bracket around here, and we're going to place all of our coefficients in the same respective places as they are in the system of linear equations. So here we have the first coefficient was 2, the next coefficient was positive 3, and the last coefficient was negative 1. Now for the second row, uh, our first coefficient is 3, second coefficient is negative 1, and our third coefficient, if there's no if there's no term here, you just put a 0, because it's the same as 0 times z. Now for the last row, negative 1 is the first coefficient, uh, 2 is the second coefficient, and the third one is negative 3. And that's all it is, that's a coefficient matrix. Now this didn't include anything but our constant terms here that they're equal to. Um, you might notice here that these all have a variable attached to them, and what they're equal to is the only term in each equation that doesn't have a variable. Right? There's no, there's no x or z's or anything here. So that's what we're going to deal with uh, with augmented matrices. We're just going to add in that row. So an augmented matrix, same thing. We will place the coefficients in the same places. So we would have 2, 3, and then negative 1. 3, negative 1, and then we'd have the same in the bottom, uh, 3, negative 1, and 0, 3, negative 1, 0, and negative 1, 2, and negative 3. And now what we're going to do is we're just add an extra column to the side, but we're just going to divide it with a line, and then on this side of the line, we just add in these numbers, our constant terms from each equation. So we have 4, 1, and 0, and you close the brackets, and that is an augmented matrix. Now you can switch between augmented matrices, coefficient matrices, and systems of linear equations. For example, if you were just given this augmented matrix here and asked to provide the system of linear equations, well, you could, assuming you knew what the variables were, you know, they could be x, y, and z, uh, or maybe, for example, they might be something like x1, x2, and x3 for your three different variables. You would be able just to attach these coefficients to each variable in each row, and you could look at this right away and you could see, well, this is the same as above. Just do it backwards. We have 2x plus 3y minus z, 1 times z, right? So you can switch between augmented matrices and systems of linear equations with no problem. And we'll just fill in other two rows just to, to make sure you get the point. Uh, assuming we're, we're using these variables here, x, y, and z, instead of x1, x2, and x3, we would just have 3x uh, minus 1y, and this would be plus or minus 0, it doesn't really matter, plus 0 um, is equal to 1. And on the bottom we would have minus 1 times x is just minus x, um, plus 2y minus 3z is equal to 0. So there you go, we can switch, we can go from the augmented matrix to the system of linear equations or vice versa. And one quick note about the notation of augmented matrices, if we consider this part here, this is our coefficient matrix, right, it's the same as this. If we just label this A, and we refer to the constants over here, 
as just the letter B, we can really quickly write the form of this augmented matrix in the term A with a line and then B. This is kind of a shorthand notation. And in the next video, we'll go over how you can use an augmented matrix to solve a more complicated system of linear equations.